Welcome back everyone. You may be in a situation where your iPhone just keeps only allowing you to download applications that you've already downloaded. So what does this look like? Well, essentially you go into your app store and you try to download an app like Snapchat or whatever other app. And maybe it says get right here, but the app, you know, the app store doesn't allow you to download it for some reason. However, you can only download apps that look like this with the cloud thing. Now, if this ends up being the case, what you probably want to do and what ends up fixing it for me is to actually make my way over to my settings application like this. I typically then will go ahead and click on my little name up here. And there can be some times where a little pop up will come up telling you to log into your iCloud account. Now, if you get that pop up, essentially all you have to do is log into your iCloud account and that should end up fixing the problem. So again, when you get into this panel, most of the time that fixes it. You can also click on media and purchases right here. You wanna click on password settings. And here is another thing where most people may just wanna go ahead and just like, you know, turn on at the default. But where it says when purchasing, you just wanna go ahead and click require after 15 minutes. So what does this mean? It essentially is, it only will require a password after 15 minutes. And sometimes there can be a time where the toggle, where the pop-up, where it says, hey, input your password, Sometimes that may not pop up properly. There can be a lot of issues with that. And most of the time that will probably end up fixing the issue as well. Now, if none of these things end up fixing it, the next thing I would probably recommend doing is updating your iPhone. So what you wanna do is you wanna hop into your settings app like this. You wanna scroll down into general, which is right here. You wanna click on software update. And you literally just wanna go ahead and update the software if there is an update available for your device. Most of the time, if you're rocking any type of iPhone, there's probably an update for it and you probably just want to update to it. That's probably the best thing I would recommend doing in my opinion. So those are the main ways to fix this if you're in this specific situation. If none of these things end up working, I would recommend restarting your phone, connecting to a better Wi-Fi and seeing if those things end up fixing it. If those things don't, your best bet is probably to sign out of iCloud and sign back in and see if that actually ends up fixing the problem too. So that's pretty much it. If you guys have any other questions or anything, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would be so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.